Let's take a more sophisticated look at drawing free body diagrams in a situation where there is not static equilibrium. This means that we will have an acceleration. So acceleration is not zero. And let's also say that there is friction in this example. This example is going to be very similar to the kind that you would see in a lecture tutorial on Newton's second law. We'll also be employing Newton's third law quite a bit here. So let me draw the example first. What we have is uh, three blocks, and I'll label them blocks A, B, and C. Here's block A, here is block C, and here is block B. And we'll say that the mass of A is equal to the mass of B, and that's equal to the mass of C. We also have a hand that is pushing on block A to the right. And this will give us an acceleration to the right. So let's just write that there is an acceleration to the right. In order to figure out how the forces compare to each other, we need to draw free body diagrams for each situation. The easiest way to do this is to draw a free body diagram for B first. So let's go free body diagram, which I'll just label as FBD for box B. So in this case, just like any free body diagram, we're going to draw a dot to represent the box. And we'll draw an arrow for the gravitational force of Earth on box B, and that's going to be the weight. And so I'll draw that pointing downward, and that's going to be labeled as W vector of Earth on B. In order to balance this out and have no acceleration in the vertical, then we have to have a force that is well, balancing out with uh, the gravitational force. And in this case, it is the normal force, or upward pushing force, of A on B. And it's the same size in order for it to balance. So I'll write normal of A on B. Now, to have, a, have an acceleration to the right for this system of blocks, something else needs to be pushing on B. The hand is not directly pushing on B. It is pushing on A. And you'd probably have determined that the thing that's pushing on block B is block A with friction. There's a frictional force of A on B. So I'm going to draw an arrow to the right, and that is going to be the frictional force of A on B. And that's it. There's no other forces acting on B because this frictional force, which is pushing to the right, is unbalanced. That is the thing that will cause it to accelerate to the right. Now, we need to keep it in mind that this, the size of this, is going to be equal to the net force. This is equal to our net force. And that net force is going to be the thing that gives rise to the acceleration. That is the net force on B. Now let's take a look at the, uh, let's take a look at diagram C. So for the free body diagram for box C, what we'll draw is another dot. And you guessed it, there's going to be a weight. The weight, because they're all the same mass, is going to be the same size weight. So I'll draw a weight of Earth on C. Now, what else is going on here? Because C is balanced in the vertical direction, we'll have a normal force, which will be equal to the gravitational force in this case, just to balance out. And this will be the table, or the ground, whatever you want to say, on C. Because C and B have the same mass, and they're all accelerating together with the same amount of acceleration, if they're moving together as a system, that means that the net force on C must be equal. Because in Newton's second law, we know that net force is equal to 
the mass times the acceleration. And so if acceleration is the same in both cases, the net force must be equal provided that the mass is also the same. So for this situation, what we have is an acceleration to the right. In order to get that, we need to have a uh, normal force, which is pushing to the right, which is larger than the frictional force of the table pushing to the left. So let's come up with a frictional force. We'll say that we've got a frictional force pointing this way. This is the frictional force of the table on block C. And in order to get something about that size, which looks about two lines on my paper, I will draw a normal force, which is about that big. And it looks like if I subtract this frictional force, then I'll get about two lines right here. So this is the normal force of A on C. Because it's A block A that is actually pushing on C. So now we can finally get to the final diagram, which is the free body diagram for box A. We're going to draw a dot. We're going to draw a weight, the weight of Earth on A. Well, there's other things that we need to consider here. There's also the normal force of A on B. Remember, that's going to be the third law pair for um, uh, the, the normal force that we saw over here. It's going to be the normal force of B on A. So we'll have a normal force of B on A that's going to be the same size right here. So normal force of B on A. And so in order to counter that, I need to have a force that is equal to the sum of those two right here. So the normal force of the table on A is like that. Now things get a little more complicated. We have, we have to think about Newton's third law. If A pushes on B with a frictional force, that means B pushes on A with the same amount of frictional force but in an opposite direction. So I need to go about two lines this way, and that is the frictional force of B on A. <clears throat> There's also the frictional force of the table on A. So I'll just draw that in here somewhere. frictional force of the table on A. And finally, there's going to be the normal force of C on A. Remember, if A pushes on C, C has to push on A with the same amount of force, but in opposite direction. So I'm going to have about this much force. This will be the normal force of C on A. And finally, the force that is from the hand on A is going to be a very large force that's going to go off the paper here. And we'll call this the normal force of the hand on A. Now the size of this normal force is large enough that if I subtract the sum of these three forces from this normal force, then I will get a net force which provides the acceleration for the system of blocks, for A and the system of blocks.